Did you see that? That little bang is enough to penetrate the skull and destroy the contents. Did you see how a mini drone punctures through the skull of a mini queen? These little lethal autonomous weapon systems can be fully autonomous and can operate beyond human control. Worrisome, but that is true. Hello and welcome, my name is Noreen and you are watching National Defense. With incremental developments in artificial intelligence, possibility of developing such weapons is no more a fiction now. Your kids probably have one of these, right? Not quite. Hell of a pilot? No. That skill is all AI. It's flying itself. Its processor can react a hundred times faster than a human. The stochastic motion is an anti-sniper feature. Just like any mobile device these days, it has cameras and sensors, and just like your phones and social media apps, it does facial recognition. Inside here is three grams of shaped explosive. They used to say guns don't kill people, people do, because soldiers or law enforcement agencies work under a set of rules and regulations. At times, they abort their mission, even at the last moment, but these killer robots show no sign of emotions or remorse and can carry out strikes with surgical processions without any scope of human intervention. Autonomous weapon systems, as we've discussed over and over again, create too many incentives for tragic consequences, international instability, war, human rights violations. And I think that it would be wise for the international community to consider all of these implications and preventively ban them before these type of dystopic futures become a reality. Killer robots can penetrate cars, buildings, trains, evade people, or even countermeasures. They can't be stopped. A $25 million order of such drones is not enough to kill half a city. Nuclear is obsolete. The drone technology takes out enemies virtually risk-free without any collateral damage or damage to even infrastructures. It removes from any human control the power to control these machines. So we are creating monsters on the battlefield which can be out of control. Laws are lethal autonomous weapon systems are weapon systems that will select and attack targets without meaningful human control. Public concerns are mounting at the prospect of weapon systems that once activated would select and attack targets without further human intervention. So I think that that is something that we ought to really give pause to think about whether or not we want systems that are potentially problematic already in a civilian, in a civilian system armed in an armed conflict. Some governments are running research programs to contribute to a research on national defense incorporating artificial intelligence, operating on principal projects such as AI-based command and decision system, and AI-based smart object tracking and recognition technology. Um, autonomous systems killing individuals or, or even autonomous systems as tiny little sensors engaged in mass surveillance. Um, there's so many different aspects to the problem of autonomous weapons that we have to consider holistically um, to see all of the different types of incentive structures and perverse features that could result. We are crossing a moral line. Autonomous weapons are in development. The US, China, Israel, South Korea, Russia and UK are increasingly developing autonomous weapons. If this trend towards autonomy continues, you must be fade out of the decision-making loop for certain military actions. No country would be safe from sudden overwhelming attacks. The fact that there is no human element in the control of the robot, meaningful human control is what is being talked about by a lot of the researchers and the experts on the subject. We've had uh, people in artificial intelligence throughout the world writing about this issue and protesting about this new development of weapons. Thousands of AI experts support the call to ban autonomous weapons. Nobel Peace laureates warn of a lower threshold for war. Religious organizations view fully autonomous weapons as an affront to humanity. 
Governments must act now before it's too late. With a coordinated effort, an international ban treaty can be negotiated by the end of 2019. Science is good, but is it not that any technology that puts human life or human race to extinction should be banned? Fully autonomous weapon systems that remove meaningful human control from the operation loop due to the risk of malfunctioning, potential accountability gap, and ethical concerns pose the same questions and draws attention of the humankind and ruling governments. If, if they aren't around, why is it hard to ban them? We aren't banning them because some states want them. And we have to be honest about that as well. And does the international community wish to do nothing and let that happen, or is it time to really accept the moral and ethical issues involved in deciding to allow machines to kill humans. If you agree that such killer robots should be stopped and governments should ban development of such killer unintelligent robots by embedding artificial intelligence, do support ban killer robots campaign by writing in the comments box in the video. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up, share it and yes, don't forget to subscribe to National Defense. Keep watching National Defense, Jai Hind.